Street Market, just off the Green Line at the corner of South Boulevard and Marion Street. Not only does Marion Street Market offer an amazing selection of artisanal cheeses, wines, beers, charcuterie, that means cold cooked meats, I looked it up, and other gourmet goodies, but it's also an elegant bistro where chef Brett Bonning prides himself in using sustainably grown, farm fresh ingredients from local producers. I think we try to take simple ingredients, simple uh, styles, and fuse new things into it. Today, I'm having the crab crusted walleye with green garlic remoulade and a salt and vinegar potato salad. That's just a good benchmark of who we are. It shows, you know, what we can do. This inventive dish is backed by popular demand and is now at the top of their dinner menu. Thanks. I've never had walleye before, but it's widely known as the best tasting freshwater fish, so I'm eager to try it. We have a great relationship with the fishery that we get from as well, super sustainable. The mild flavor and flaky texture of the walleye is the ideal base for the crab, not overshadowing its delicate sweet taste. We have a nice, you know, traditional crab salad right on top of our walleye. We kind of just pat it on there. Nice. Bake it in the oven and get a nice broiled base on top of it. My favorite part of the dish is actually the remoulade. It sounds fancy, but it's not. Remoulade is similar to that of an aioli, but there's usually a lot more spices and some kind of pickling agent in it. A bit of lemon juice. We've kind of taken a cool approach. Green garlic, not in season very long, so we've gone ahead and we've already pickled like 50 pounds of green garlic. It's truly an explosion of bold flavors, and Chef Brett balances them perfectly. Just gonna start dicing these guys up a little bit. The cold salt and vinegar potato salad is the perfect contrast to the warm fish. Uh, it's the best way to say it's super bright. There's a tang from the malt vinegar and a crunch from the celery. Plus, I really love their use of chives instead of white onion, which might overpower the dish. We finish with a little bit of micro shiso. That's this tiny sprout with a beautiful purple color. From our friends at Urban Till. An indoor hydroponic farm just four miles away. It tastes a little like licorice. It's definitely a fun one to make. It's something I even, yeah, I'll even make it at home. Well, it's official. I like walleye, and I love this dish. I'm Alicia, and I hope you join me next time on Dish and Delicious.